Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you. Thank you for tuning into this reading. I'm going to be looking at fire signs now um, and we'll start off with Sagittarius for the month of June 2021. I'll be using my Revealing Light Oracle, which is my own Oracle details in the drop down menu, and then uh, the Witch's Tarot to drill down. This is a general reading. It is for sun signs, rising signs. If your uh, ascendant is Sagittarius or if your moon is in Sagittarius, this might be helpful for you too. If um, it's not resonating, just move on. If it is, um, claim it uh, and hopefully it will be helpful to you. So let's have a look at what is, uh, what are the spirit messages? What are the messages here? Messages from spirit for Sagittarius that they need to bear in mind in the month of June 2021. So I'm feeling that you do have a lot on your plate and it's like you actually, I'm just seeing jam and then, you know, the home homemade jam. Um, so there are other things that you would rather do be doing, but you, it's like you're, uh, you, you are, I guess, having to knuckle down a bit in June um, and really you want to be in that carefree mode where, uh, you know, if you feel like making jam, you can make jam. Um, it's also very relaxing to do those kind of cottage industry things, whether it's gardening or, um, you know, a little bit of construction or building. Um, whatever it is, working with the hands seems to be uh, seems to be coming up here. So if you are extra busy, try that. Try um, doing things that involve the hands a manual type of um, activity because I think it's going to be a big de-stressor for you so let's have a look what's coming up for Sagittarius what are the overarching spiritual messages for Sagittarius in June 2020 2021 I should say so we've got cooperation. So conflict and resolution. This is a Libra and a Mercury, um, a Mercury energy here. Of course, we have Mer Mercury retrograde in June. Uh, I think it stations direct around the twentieth. Um, conflict and resolutions are the building bo blocks of learning. So if any Sagittarians are in uh, a conflict. Um, then uh, then I feel that uh, it might, might come to a head in June in some way. But the sign here says possible. So impossible and possible. The choice will be yours. You will be given a choice about how you want to proceed forward. The power is not going to be taken away from you. It's what, what you want to happen will be offered to you. So uh, remembering that uh, after every conflict, there has to be some sort of resolution. To, in order to move forward, if you don't think that's possible at the moment, um, think again because in June you might you might realise that something is possible. Contemplation. This is Jupiter uh, energy uh, again. In I think in Pisces, this is associated with the Crown Chakra. Uh, contemplation. What lies beyond is a new pathway and a new beginning. Jupiter, of course, moves back into Aquarius uh, in June, I think. Um, it's in Pisces uh, and moving back into Aquarius. So it wasn't in Pisces for very long, not in 2021 anyway. So it will sit in Aquarius. So I feel that for some Sagittarians, they are actually thinking of going it alone in some way. Now, it might be they're coming to... Um, some kind of resolution around who and what they need in their lives. I've felt this for a while now, now Sagittarius, that it's like, um, you know, you might be cutting away a lot of the extraneous, a lot of what no longer serves you, um, and this will allow you to move forward. It's some kind of new beginning, but it's also an expansive beginning as well because this is number 10 breaking down to number one. You're ending old cycles and beginning new cycles. Um, but first, there's some baggage that you have to really clear, I feel. Um, so a lot of messages coming out for you. And resilience. Um, again, this is Taurus energy. Even during the darkest uh, storm, there's illumination from within. Be your own guiding light. You don't need anybody else to do that for you. You are the person at the rudder, or at the tiller, I should say, steering the rudder. Um, 
And even in, you know, when life gets a bit stormy, uh, it is you who will navigate or steer that boat out of, away from that storm. That's called resilience when we can move through like that on our own without necessarily needing anyone to do that steering for us, we can uh, come away with new determination. And that has a flow-on effect to those around us. They pick up that, that determination. They don't need to fix or fight your battles. Um, they know that you're able to do that yourself. Um, so again, it comes back to self-respect, self-worth and self-confidence. So why shower? Of course, uh, you are the keeper and teller of your truth. No one else. No one else. Again, Mercury. So I think there's a conversation here in June uh, about resolving a conflict. Uh, and my counsel here is don't shy away from giving people the truth. If you don't, it's not going to serve you or them well. You need to say how you've been uh, impacted. Um, and if you think that that's not possible, it's an impossibility to even get there, think again. Uh, I think it, it will be. But it's kind of like you come away wanting nothing and needing nothing. Um, this is about you going it alone, um, going it alone for yourself. Um, and communication. I think that, uh, again, Mercury is showing up here. Um, of course, we have the solar eclipse in Gemini uh, in mid-June as well. So there's a lot coming up about both outward and inward communication for you. Um, you've just had a major eclipse. The north node is, was, is in Gemini, the south node in Sagittarius. So it's like your... Uh, distilling all these lessons perhaps even from past uh, lifetimes as well and working out how you want to go forward uh, and how you want to communicate people to pe with people but also more importantly how you want how you want people to communicate with you there's something about you standing standing your ground there's something about you um, <clears throat> really letting it be known that you uh, are the keeper of your truth. No one else is. Interesting cards there, Sagittarius. Let's move on to the <clears throat> main part of the reading and consult the Witch's Tarot about what are the issues, challenges and opportunities. Let's not forget opportunities. Life is rarely made up of, um, you know, challenge 24 7 all year, every year, you know, you do get those, uh, you do get those opportunities, you do get those what appear to be miracles coming through, um, and sometimes things that change your life, completely change your life. So there is a new way ahead for you, Sagittarius. So let's see what are the, what are the issues, challenges and opportunities presenting for Sagittarius in June 2021. Okay, so we have here the Ace of Cups. So, you know, this is around the heart chakra. It's around the emotion, uh, the emotions. It's also around a new emotional start. This is what you're carving out for yourself, I feel, with these decisions that you're making. Challenged by the moon. So this eclipse season has hit you particularly hard, Sagittarius. Both the um, lunar eclipse in Sagittarius at the end of May and also the oncoming a solar eclipse as well. Things are coming to the surface. Things that have been, <clears throat> pardon me, an emotional trigger for you are coming to the surface and getting it out so that you can see what it is and what you need to do about it. Um, the two of wands, you're planning definitely for the future. This is, um, she's on her mobile phone, isn't she? She could even be searching for something uh, this could be how you want to live your future, where you want to live in the future, because I'm getting a real draw to um, relocation for you at some stage, Sagittarius. There is a plan that's coming to fruition. Sometimes we don't even know we're doing that, but we are. We're manifesting something. In the past, we've got strength. Either your strength was called into question or you've been feeling not as strong, <clears throat> or you had to step up to the plate. I think it was the latter, Sagittarius, and I think you did. Four of Pentacles, um, whatever you have confronted in the past, reignited uh, insecurities from a long time ago. The thing is, if we keep doing things in the same way, we'll expect the same results. So it is time 
to look at what you do feel uh, not secure about and face that once and for all. So there's a really uh, cathartic process that Sagittarius is going through here. The Four of Wands talks about reunifications, reunifications with families, reunification with friends. This is in the immediate future. So I feel that there is a celebration of some sort that is coming up for you in June. In the here and now, we have the Two of Pentacles. You are way too busy, Sagittarius. This is this frenetic frenetic energy uh frantic energy that i feel uh emanating uh and why you want to bake jam instead of go <laughs> going and trying to do this juggling yeah you know it's time to let go of some of those responsibilities absolutely the ten of swords um if you don't let go of them, you know, it just drags you down and nobody wants to be in that situation. There are old cycles ending. There is illumination for you, Sagittarius. Let's look at what's in the, yeah, in the hopes and fears judgment, bringing something to an ending. It's inevitable. <clears throat> you know, change is is often ine inevitable and I feel that there is change occurring in Sagittarius lives. We have the Eight of Wands. You could get a lot of messages coming through. This is something that um, speeds up. This is something, uh, it's like the quickness of it might even take you uh, by surprise. Um, and we have endings here. So something is ending really quickly. Something is ending really quickly for you, Sagittarius. Um, and the reason that it is, uh, is because you have um, managed to transform something. This card here is about endings and new beginnings. So it looks like you've got a new beginning coming up really quickly in June. We've got the world card, ending old cycles and bringing new cycles to a beginning um, into fruition. We've got here the Taurus energy here around resilience and then we've got Leo here as well. Aquarius up here and Scorpio. So um, Scorpio being the ruler of the eighth house, endings and beginnings. Aquarius is that higher minded decision, counsel, wisdom around these new beginnings. Resilience, learning the lesson and Leo stepping out, stepping out into your own power. So we've got relationships, contracts at the base of the pack uh, and it's making a decision. You could be offered something uh you know, it mightn't even be in the same situation. Situation, You need to make a decision about a relationship, but this is also being offered something. Um, it might be you bring something to a close, but here you've got another cup coming out of the sky. Um, so there could be a fortunate event in June for you, as much and all as it's going to be challenging. We've got the sun card here. You know what you need to do to reach your own level of happiness i you know as i said when i opened up this reading you are steering your own ship sagittarius well done uh because that means you've learned the lessons here um all right i think that's probably where i'll leave it thank you for tuning in sagittarius i'll be back again in july for another reading bye for now